Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will solve question number 11, exercise 8.1, class 6. State which of the following statements are true or false. First statement is, two lines in a plane always intersect at a point. Now this statement is false. Why? Because two lines in a plane, they may intersect each other or they may not intersect each other. Okay? So, if plane mein two lines in two cases, ho sakte hai. Ya to wo lines aapas mein intersect karengi, ya fir wo ek dusre ke parallel bhi ho sakti hai. Meaning, they will never intersect each other. So, both cases are possible. So, therefore, this statement is false. Second statement hai, if four lines intersect at a point, those are called concurrent lines. So, agar humare paas aise four lines hai and they intersect at a point, so, in lines ko hum log concurrent lines bolte hain, theek hai? So, therefore, this statement is true. Third statement hai, point has a size because we can see it as a thick dot on the paper. So, this statement is false because point has no size. It has no length, no breadth or no thickness, theek hai? So, point basically ek dot ke saath hum log mark karte hain just to mark a specific location, theek hai? So, point ka koi bhi size nahi hota. So, therefore, this statement is false. Next statement hai, through a given point, only one line can be drawn. Now, this statement is false again. Because through a point, we can draw infinite number of lines. Agar suppose humare paas ye ek point hai, to is point ke through hum log aise bohot sari lines aise draw kar sakte hain, okay? So, therefore, this statement is false. Next statement hai, rectangle is a part of the plane. So, this statement is true. So, plane kya hota hai? Plane is a flat surface which extends in all directions. It has length and breadth but no thickness. Meaning, uski koi height nahi hoti. So, it has only length and breadth but no height. And rectangle also have length and breadth, theek hai? And also it is on flat surface. So, therefore, rectangle is a part of the plane. So, therefore, this statement is true. So, this completes your exercise 8.1. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.